How you doing, guys? Don't you just love over-opinionated people? Those people that have an opinion on anything? You could say one half of a sentence and they're already firing their opinion at you. The funny thing is, the more opinionated people are and the more opinions they want to throw at you, try giving your opinion. They will cut you off or totally turn a deaf ear to it. When somebody is that over-opinionated, it's best just to tune them out because they are talking with little experience and they're talking out of their backside. I had a Bible instructor way back when who was so over-opinionated. I mean, this guy had an opinion on everything. He would see something, he'd be firing opinions, and he was so annoying. Now, when I started studying, he wanted to come across like an all-knowing mentor, but he lacked a lot of life's experience to be a mentor to anyone. Plus the fact he was a dumbass and I had quite a few years on him. I would just look, look at him and, uh-huh, yeah, sure. Well, he would pry into my business constantly. He would try to get to know what my personal business was. And for the most part, I keep my personal business to myself, but every so often little things leak out and he would pry. And more often than not, he was so off base with what little he knew. But I noticed that when people pry into your personal business and offer their opinion, it's like, what is their agenda? Thing is, I have noticed with people, now everybody has an opinion. Some people just aren't so vocal about it. But I have noticed the people who have the most opinions about anything are the ones to look out for. Particularly if it's about your personal business. Now, nobody should stick their nose in anybody's personal business to begin with, especially if they're not invited in or asked. But unfortunately, many do. And unfortunately, so many people fall victim to it by offering information. Even they may come across, they may be your friends, but still, when somebody is that opinionated, you've got to be very careful. So why do they do this? Say you've got some personal issues and they try and steer you in a different direction and they get mad when you don't. That you've got to look out for. So why do they do this? They try to steer you in certain directions, not for your benefit, but for theirs. You see, they may perceive that they're going to benefit from swaying your decisions, whatever it may be. But in reality, they're not because they don't know your personal situation and they may or may not benefit. But if they do benefit, it's going to be from at your expense. See, the fun time thing is I'm real funny about personal information. Uh, very few people know a lot about me personally. And what little information I give is just that little information. But I have noticed at times some people get a little bit too vocal about it and they really need to back off half the time. I don't really care to talk to over-opinionated people. And this is where you got to be careful. This was something I noticed was prevalent at the Kingdom Hall. If anybody remembers when they were studying, after the love bombing, and you were progressing a little bit further and a little bit further, and everybody was taking interest in your progression, and they're like, you're doing a bang-up job. Then that one day came where an elder invited you to his house for dinner to meet his family. You didn't think anything of it. You took the invitation. And as the night was going on, you conversing and conversing and conversing, then that very popular question was asked, what is preventing you from getting baptized? That's done intentional. After that, doesn't end there because everybody else in the congregation is pushing you, pushing you, pushing you to get baptized. See, for the most part, the average person, unless they were asked to push that direction, probably would not get baptized. They may be thinking about it, but chances are they're not going to head in that direction unless they're steered to it. I still contend to this day that if I held out just a few more months and didn't get baptized when I did, I would not have at all. The reason I pushed so hard to get baptized was probably for a pretty poor ass reason because there were several people in my congregation 
that were trying to stop me from getting baptized. And that pushed me all the harder to get baptized. And looking back on it, I kind of wish they pushed a little harder so that to prevent me from getting baptized. But whether you're a Jehovah's Witness or on the outside, if anybody is trying to steer you in a direction to make a personal decision for you, stay clear. Because they're not looking out for you. They're looking out for their own skin. They may benefit, they may not. But your personal decisions are yours to make and yours alone. And keep in mind, too, the decisions you make, you're the one who have to live with it, not them. Anyways, guys, that's just something I wanted to bring to your attention. You guys have a good week. I will be talking to you soon.